Okay, as a follow-up to the last video, I am going to do an only chorus pedal effects board. Um, this has absolutely no practical application in the studio or live. None at all. I don't even know why I'm doing this. So, um, if you can see the, the, uh, the setup I've got down here, I've got the milkshake chorus, I've got the June 60, and I've got the small clone. Oh, can you see that uh, set up there? Um, three chorus pedals in a row. That's my effects chain. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know why I'm doing this. Let's go. Okay, so carrying on from the last video, we've got our milkshake chorus down here. Which we can switch on. We've got a June 60, that horrible flappy pedal, and we've got the small clone. That's that's what a pedal should sound like when you hit engage the button. Uh, small clone set to 50%. Um, the June 60 will set to setting two, and the milkshake chorus is uh, set that 50%. There we go. So that is my only chorus pedals <laughs> signal path. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's listen to the s clean sound. <laughs> Let's engage depth. Let's unengage the depth. That's the kind of sound I'm looking for, kind of really chorusy. Um, let's listen to the June 60. Uh, this is setting two, the, 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 the two preset. Milkshake set at fifty Now, back to the small clone, with June 60 added. Syrupy. Let's add the milkshake. That's uh, bonkers. Um, let's take the rate of the small clone up to maximum, because you know, 
turn everything up. It's bonkers, absolutely bonkers. Let's set the speed of the milkshake to maximum. <laughs> and let's take the depth of the milkshake to maximum. So three chorus pedals all maxed out. Why? Why would I do this? <laughs> the warble where you just leave let the note sort of settle I do like that That's it.